seven fresh fix week on new music live and we've got an artist who's never been here before and she's lovely she's got six hit singles all across this great nation and she's here to talk about her album tell the world and she's also nominated for a juno award pop album of the year for this one so everybody make some noise and give a warm welcome to christina maria <laughs> for your first time on our show. You I loved it. stuff to some good beats. That was amazing. Hi, guys. Yeah, welcome. Hi. So what a crazy year for you. This is your debut album, yes. Tell the World, and yes. you have so many singles off of it. And then on top of that, your very first album gets a Juno nomination. <laughs> Pop album of the year. So how did you react when you first heard? Let me tell you, I was at the press conference in Toronto when they were, you know, naming who was getting nominated. Yeah. And, you know, you always have in mind that, okay, there's a chance that I might get nominated because the album came out and the singles are doing pretty well. So we're just hanging out there and <laughs> we're just listening. And I was there with my manager, Vito, and my team. And then, honestly, it just gets so much more real. And I can't even explain to you the feeling when they, they say your name and you're like, Oh my god, so when they're all there cheering, you know those like annoying crowd on the side that's like, yeah! <laughs> and that was you guys. <laughs> and everybody was like looking back, they're like, you're so rude, they're still like naming people. And I'm like, you're bursting my bubble right now, like we are so excited. I'm glad you owned it, because you are up against some stiff competition. I know. Pop Album of the Year's got you, Nelly Furtado, Justin Bieber, Carly Rae Jepsen. Victoria Duffield. Victoria Duffield, I'm too. I'm sweating. Yes, I am sweating. This is a tough competition. I mean, I'm being realistic here. <laughs> there are really talented people, but to be nominated, period, mm -hmm. in that category, you know, I co-wrote 11 songs out of that, yeah. that album. So to me, it's like a pat on the back saying, like, you know, our hard work really paid off. And, you know, you get a little, you know, just like, good job. Now, this will be the first time you get to go to the Juno Awards. Yeah. So are you already making your plans? Are you picking out dresses and doing the whole yes, thing? Yes, actually, we're designing one. And let me tell you, I've been dreaming about attending the Juno since I was 14 because that's when you actually like, I guess I really grasped yeah. what like the Juno's was at that age. And I'm like, I'm going to be there one day. I need to be there one day. And finally, the day is coming so soon. And it's just that is amazing. Your dream is coming true. All, yeah. your, all your dreams are coming true. Congratulations. Thank you. So you've been singing since you were you're little, right? You grew up in Ottawa. Yes. Where did it all start really for you then? Well, you know, I was like in the womb. No, no. <laughs> yes, singing. <laughs> you know what? It's always been a passion of mine. Um, music, it's always, always been my thing. And I mean, I was four and I was like, Mom, I need the Whitney Houston album of Bodyguard. And I used to sing out these crazy songs. And I think that's when my parents knew that, mm -hmm. okay, I think she, that's what she wants to be. And since then, I've never, you know, changed my mind. But... I was uh, knocking on doors. I had made a little demo and uh, going doors and, you know, you just yeah. get the door just shut in your face so many times. And that's the business. You know, you're going to get you're going to get a million no's before you get that one. Yes. And uh, I have a friend of the family that sent it to my manager, Vito Luprano. Who's and worked with Celine Dion. Yeah, he started he, Celine Dion's career. He's the guy that signed Hello. Celine Dion 20 yeah. something years ago and worked alongside with her for years and years. Um, and so, you know, I just didn't think anything of it. And I was like, okay, you know, it might, might be yes, it might be no. And then finally he called me and next thing you know, we met up and we connected so well, which is so important to be with somebody who believes in you and you connect with and that you work with so properly and so well. And we're on the same page and we just knew what we wanted and we just worked from there. And So tell me this, because you're a young girl, so you must have grown up listening to Britney, Backstreet Boys, yes. and Sync, right? Yes. So Christina got to collabo and work with JC Chasse from NSYNC. So yes. Okay. Like I've had this full, full circle moment as well with New Kids on the Block because I interviewed Jordan Knight. So okay. do tell me what it was like to actually meet JC and what did you say? What was the first thing you said? Oh my God, poor guy. Because <laughs> I was obsessed. Yeah. I was a boy band freak and probably still am. I'm a nerd. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I mean, working with Vito. <laughs> I get to co-write with all these amazing big writers who wrote for Celine and for, for you know, NSYNC and so on. 
And one of them is Christian London, and he said, "Oh, your idea is great. Let's bring my friend JC into the project." I'm like, "JC, but you know, you think maybe that's him? Maybe it's not. But you don't want to ask. It's him. You don't want to like look unprofessional." So wait, wait. Here's this picture. So what'd you say? What was the first thing you I said? Do you remember my life? I was like, like, "Sweet Jesus, can you serenade me?" <laughs> ask him. I said, "Can you please serenade me?" Yeah. And he's like, "No." Like the poor kid probably thought I was crazy. I was so my inner 12 year old like came out. Yeah. Forget about it. That's amazing. I almost cried. That's so cool. Well, that song is Animal, and you're now, we're, you know, you're going to play Karma here today. So yeah. she's going to play that on New Music Live coming right up. Tell me this, though, because it's obviously a very personal song that you wrote about a boy that hurt you. Yeah. Did he get his karma? Did he get what's coming to him? I really, truly think so. <laughs> I don't believe in, you know, like, somebody getting hurt or something, but I do believe in what goes up must come down, and exactly. I think that just... Exactly, and what goes around comes around. Yeah. Well, we're so happy for you. We're so glad you could be here during Thank Fresh Fix Week. So, so she's happy. hitting the stage when we come back to perform Karma. And uh, Zeko and Torres are taking us out to break. Hit it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.